all right so we have to copy this and we have to now calculate the left uh, value and the right value here and this will be given as okay let me first talk about beam and warming before i uh, code this up so in case of beam and warming method uh, the uh, the derivative uh, at this point derivative at this point will be defined by taking a backward difference uh, that is by taking uh, this this particular reconstruction will be done by taking a, a backward difference that means that we will be using this delta x and this difference in u to calculate the derivative at this point and therefore the reconstruction that is the reconstruction will be done by a straight line so uh, the reconstructed function will look like this with the slope defined by this so our derivative at this point del u by del x at point i will be equal to uh, delta u by delta x which is given by this one so delta u is equal to u i minus sorry u i minus u i minus 1 divided by delta x right so this is based on the backward difference so this is how beam and warming method is implemented so let us do that here so the line the equation for the line and therefore the value at u west will be equal to this minus dx so we can take in our case we can since our delta x is constant we can just take the cells dx minus dx divided by 2 because if you see it's just we are we want to calculate the value at this po point and that is basically this distance is delta x divided by 2 so minus dx by 2 uh, and multiplied by the derivative and the derivative is oh yeah let me calculate the derivative separately so will be equal to given by the backward difference so it will be cells i minus cells i minus 1 uh, so dot u okay and divide it by delta x right so we'll have du by dx now and this has to be multiplied by du by dx so that will give us the value here at at this particular point now we have to calculate the value at this particular point that is u east east so the east side value will be simply the same value but with a plus sign that is the right hand side of the cell right so we have these two values defined uh, and yeah that's it so we have our beam and warming uh, method implemented so let us look at what results we get just before that let us change the reconstruction type to beam and warming so that that particular case will be used this particular case will be used and let me also define the default case just to make sure that sorry default case just to make sure that we don't run into any kind of an error so the default case is going to be uh, throwing an error through 
so you can say unsupported unsupported operation exception So that by mistake, if we instead of uh, writing beam and I mean instead of using beam and warming, if we have say in our config file, we have written something else uh, like say lex and lex render, which is not implemented at this exception will be thrown. So it will, it's just a good pra programming practice. That's all. Uh, so let me run this code and see what happens to our results. So before I run it, let me remove this files so yeah let me just remove this files i'll delete this and let me run this code and see what happens so our results should be here now let me run the python code and get the plots okay so what you will see here is that we are getting this oscillations right so there are oscillations here which are obviously not part of solution they are uh, they are what should I say numerical oscillations which is obviously not good but you might have observed that the uh, the diffusion has reduced now earlier it was highly diffused however there are this extra unwanted oscillations but the diffusion has reduced uh, so we would like to take advantage of both uh, this reduced um, diffusion but at the same time getting rid of this oscillations so that is done by using something called limiters we will be looking at that at a later time but as of now uh, let us continue and implement the next method which is called the lex vendor of method